Hey everybody, welcome to today's video with myself, Sarah Lean. In this video, what I want to show you is how you can import your Azure DevOps repo, so all your code, all your configuration information from that DevOps repo, into a GitHub repo. And what I'm going to show you is a quick and easy process, so let's dive into it. So here we are folks inside my Azure DevOps repo and you can see inside my repo I have a bunch of branches. So I have my main one and then I have a bunch of ones that are used for testing and various different development scopes. What I want to do is take the main branch and all the other branches across into GitHub. So let's go over to GitHub and create a new repo so that we can migrate this Azure DevOps repo into GitHub. So in GitHub, I'm going to create a new repo. So I click on the plus symbol and create new repo. I'm going to select myself as the owner and then I'm going to give the repo a name. So I'm going to call it migration repo at the moment so as I know what it is. I'm going to put it as public because I'm happy for this to be public, but I don't need to initialize the repository um, and I can skip the licensing as well. So let's hit create repository. So now that the repository or repo has been created, what we get is a bunch of information from GitHub itself on how to actually populate information into this repository. If we scroll down, the very last option is to import code from another repository. Now it gives you some examples here, Subversion, Mercurial and TFS. Doesn't explicitly say Azure DevOps here, but this does work for Azure DevOps. So if we click on import code, so we're asked for the URL of the old repository or the one that's inside Azure DevOps. So let's head back over to Azure DevOps and grab a hold of that URL. So we want to clone this um, repo. So if we click on main, what we get is an option here that says clone and that will give us the URL for this repository. So if I click on clone, you can see here I'm getting a URL. So I just copy this to my clipboard and let's head back over to GitHub and we'll paste this into it. So now you can see I've got that repository URL and I'll click on begin import. Now GitHub will start to scan or start to interrogate your repository and it will give you some feedback on the process of this. Now, as you can see here, we're being asked for information to access that repository. And you can see quite clearly, it says it only needs read only access. So let's um, go over to Azure DevOps and create a personal access token that we can use to actually um, pipe, uh, get past this stage. So back inside Azure DevOps, what I want to do is click on the little icon here um, that gives us the option to create a personal access token. So if we click on that, I don't have any at the moment, so let's create a new token. I'm going to call it migration PAT. And because we only need read access to the code, that's all I'm going to grant it. I'm going to grant it read only, and I'm going to leave it um, to expire in 30 days, but you could obviously change that. So let's cl click on create. And we get our personal access token. And it does say that you have to um, copy it here uh, because you won't get to see it again. So if you're using this multiple times or you need to store it um, somewhere, make sure you're putting it somewhere safe. Um, I'm going to click on copy and head back over to GitHub. So put in your login details, that will probably be your email address and then copy that personal access token into the password section and then hit submit. Now that GitHub has access to your repository, it will be able to interrogate your repository uh, much better and hopefully import all the commits and the revision history. Um, as we can see here in the progress bar, it's starting to do that. So we'll give it a few seconds or a few minutes to do that and come back. So we can see that the import has now been complete and my new repository is ready for me to view. So let's click into it. And here we have that code from Azure DevOps. We've got a bunch of branches. If we click on, we've got main, and then we've got all those other branches that we had before as well. So this is quite easily pulled across um, all of our information from Azure DevOps um, and the repo there and put it into GitHub for us as well. 
Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it has been useful to you. If it has, please smash that like button. It really does help me and the YouTube algorithm as well. And if you've enjoyed the content, hit that subscribe button and hopefully I'll catch you in another video. Thank you for watching, folks.